we're back with the greatness that is Mushoku Tensei. So I'm surprised we can actually see the episode, you know, after that One Piece episode yesterday, breaking the whole internet, you know what I mean? Wink, wink. Oh, we got wands and everything. Nice. I wonder, of course, because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, I wonder if there's like a... Uh, like a Harry Potter reference. I don't remember seeing this in the manga. Now, this is the arc where I dropped the manga. So I have seen pretty much up to... I don't want to spoil it, but I've seen until, you know... I'm not going to say. I'll let you know when we get there. But of course, this was like, you know, years ago. Right as soon as uh, season one ended. So what, like a year and a half ago? <laughs> oh, Rudy. Rudy is catching them every single day. Now, something I, I don't understand about Ellen Elise curse, right? As you, as you can see there. Oh, we got an intro? We got an intro. Why, 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 what? Why does this song sound familiar? I'm not going to put my full reaction to it because, you know, the one to get hit, but. Wow. Oshago Tensei with an opening. Did not expect that. But we're back at the university. Now, I might actually enjoy this arc more in the anime. Uh, just because when it comes to reading, I, I really don't like reading. In fact, when I, when I read a book, it's through an audiobook. And I'm usually doing something else. Like either, you know, either driving or I'm playing like, you know, Diablo or PoE where I'm just mind-numbing, farming, you know, and killing monsters. And it doesn't require my mental uh, capacity to do. So I can focus on the book, audiobook. Participate in a little test. This is gonna be fun. Of mental illness. Ah, uh, you know what he means. We know what he's trying to uh, to uh, study about. Come on now, Rudy. Blow blow this test out of the water. We have another silent caster here. Who could it be? Fitz. Fitz. Now we saw, if you saw episode zero, we know the uh, true identity of Fitz. Which of course, is a little troublesome because you could probably, you know, put two and two together. Uh, but this was a complete surprise uh, in the manga. I don't know if the light novels did it differently like they did with the, uh, with the anime. Maybe they did, I don't know. A duo without incantations. Here we go. Well, he made me pay tuition if I lose this. <laughs> hey, tuition is probably high, but I'm pretty sure Rudy's got some money. Oh, he's using that demon eye. That's canceling magic. Rudy is, is that guy, man. He's on that level. No, Rudy. They have not heard of it. Yeah, everybody's looking at him like, yo, this guy's weird, man. Like, what did he just do? Dude, that would be the best school to go to, you know what I mean? As long as I attend a homeroom once a month, I can do whatever I want. Look, at, that's amazing. Sign me up. Oh, Rudy giving out tips to Ellen Elise on picking up men. Wow. Hey, that's some good advice, you know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure all these students here are, uh, you know, horny dogs. And Ellen Elise, you know, she's got to do it to survive, so. Kind of reminds you of Paul, really? I don't know if I could imagine myself seeing Paul act like that. Second princess of Asura. Wasn't she like like fifth or something like that in line? Now, how old is Ellen Elise, right? For her to be able to enroll in this school. Now, I'm guessing she's what? Like, she's been traveling with Paul. She's an elf. They have a longer lifespan. So the fact that she was able to enroll in this school, you know, I guess there's not like an age limit. 
but then again, that's also true for like real universities, right? Like in the real world, you can you can enroll at whatever age you want. There's not like an age cap, so I guess that's fine. Oh, here we go. We're meeting a couple of interesting characters here, and I was able to recognize one. I don't remember their name, but I recognized one. There he is. That's the creepy guy. That's the one that has the uh, Roxy statue, right? It's Sanoba. I might not actually remember that. Now, I believe that that guy's power is he's able to fight, right? Like, he, he has, like, super strength, right? A fifth year. Amazing. Now, I feel like Rudy has been there, right? Come on now, Rudy. Come on now, Rudy. Don't be looking over there, man. That, that, that scene took way too long, you know? That, that scene was lingering way too long. That, I, I bet it should have been like half a second and move on. Now, those two remind, remind me of the uh, two little girls that, uh, that whenever Rudy met... Uh, whenever Rudy went to the forest and was, you know, a prisoner for a little bit with the beast people. And he rescued them. Cliff Grimoire. Magical genius. Really? Really? Okay. Describing yourself as a genius? Oh, really? That's, that's nice. That's nice. Imagine bragging to Rody. You know what I mean? Oh, he met Eris? What? I don't remember this. I don't remember this part. She's exempt even from the monthly home room, really? Wow, must be nice. Even more special than Rudy. That's a pretty big library. And again, I could see how the university could help with a lot of stuff. The amount of research that somebody can do here would just be extraordinary. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what is this? She almost, you know, slipped up right there, you know, with the Rudy. We all know who he's looking for. <laughs> hey, man, well, that's important, too. You know what I mean? You need that. Now, isn't that supposed to be silent fits? You know, silent fits over here is uh, talkative right now. Let's make a figure together, bro. What a bunch of them, bro. Come on now. <laughs> oh, here we go. You're, you're definitely forgetting something important there, Rudy. Now, to be fair, Fitz completely looks different than Selfie, you know what I mean? And it has been, what, like three, uh, well, more than three years for sure, maybe like four or five years now. Bro, he's got two girls right next to him, damn. Silent fits. A white haired elf. Yeah, we're gonna learn about fits here. So, well, we already learned everything. Get 
Get get that flying F out. Get out. Get out. Something white, but it's not. Bro, Rudy, come on now, man. You gotta stop it, man. You gotta stop it. Underwear thief. Oh, damn, and everybody. Oh, they're going after him now. Oh, what? Oh, GG will play, man. Oh, who is this? Nah. Degenerate filth. Yo, that wasn't even his fault, really. Don't hide it. T t tell them what happened. That's Princess. Oh, Ariel? Oh, GG well played. Oh, he's getting that PTSD again. You're right, because remember, he dealt with extreme bullying back in the uh, the real world. Oh, see, but this is the difference, right? Somebody came up and kind of to his defense, which is what didn't happen back in his uh, real life uh, situation. See, once again, Fitz kind of, you know, defending him. Kind of, you know, he, hey, you know, Rudy, ignorant of the rules, he didn't know. Oh, damn. And even Fitz is willing to fight for this. Damn. Hey, let's go. Fitz standing up for Rudy. Again, in this situation, Rudy did nothing wrong, right? But you, you clearly saw it. Whenever he got surrounded and everybody started like, calling him names, he got like he got shook. That that brought him back to a dark uh, part of his life. Would they really? Yep. Yeah, once again, he's he's going into those insecurities. Oh, Rudy is blushing a little bit. Oh, okay, Rudy. I didn't know you were about that that life. Hey, man. You know. I mean, Rudy thinks that's a man, so... Hey, he might be discovering himself, you know? But alright, that was episode 5 of Mushoku Tensei, The Greatness. And I gotta tell you, when, when this episode, if I were to like think back with the, uh, with the manga, it, it's just, it just seems better. Now, I don't know how fast they're going through the content, right? Because again, I barely remember all the stuff that when I read it, right? Uh, I do remember like key moments. Um, of course, there's a big one that's going to happen soon. I don't know if that's going to be, you know, next episode or the episode after that. Uh, actually, there's two big ones. Uh, but again, I'm not going to talk about them because I don't want to spoil it, right? Uh, but I'm just kind of wondering how fast this stuff is because, you know, I read it once and I didn't like it that, that much and I just kind of forgot about it. But again, that's just me being weird with the whole manga reading situation. I don't like reading. So uh, there were some parts where I was definitely skipping because I really didn't care about the whole school situation, right? Uh, but in anime, I'm kind of enjoying a little bit more, right? Uh, just because I mean, I'm seeing all these characters again, they're talking, you know, we actually get to see the beautiful surrounding, the art, all that stuff because Mushoku Tensei looks really, really nice. Now it got an opening and an ending, I did not see that coming at all. Usually in Mushoku Tensei, they do that whole, you know, when they do like an opening, it's more kind of like, you know, showing you the world. And that would have been pretty nice, you know, seeing, you know, a, a little music or whatever, but you actually get to see like around the whole university and we get to see parts that maybe weren't in the light novel or in the, in, in the manga. That would have been a pretty nice little touch, but uh, I guess we didn't get that. I don't know why they decided to do the opening. Maybe to uh, cut down some of the time for the episode. Who knows, right? Regardless, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, overall, this episode, I really liked it. Uh, getting to see Rudy interact with, you know, Fitz, you know, a.k.a. Uh, Sylphie. Uh, again, they kind of, you know, did that episode zero, so you already know who that person is. But in reality, in the manga and probably in the light now, if you read, they kind of give you the identity pretty early on, but, you know, we'll see how they're gonna handle it with the anime but let me know what you thought of this episode and like always make sure to leave a like subscribe and i will see you on the next episode peace out Bye.